you'll never guess who I'm with today. Ian, the master of pieces, and we have got there Welsh it is. Poker picker. Connor What's the Welsh goes? poker picker. Here we go again. The Welsh one is a back. We're up in the valleys. Connor's going to show me around. We're going to try and find some bargains in these charity shops. Let's go. And straight off the bat, we've only just walked in the door. Shoes, two pounds. Pair of clerks here. And they got the Gore-Tex label on. Let's get them. And underneath them, we got some Luke Sport trainers as well. I mean, they're, they're pretty bad, but surely you can clean those up. For two quid, you've got to be picking them up as well. Having a flick through the clothing rail here. And we found a polo Ralph Lauren XL. Long sleeve white shirt. It is pretty plain. It is just plain white, but... I mean, it's going to be a pound. So for a pound, you're picking that up. Actually, on closer look... The label looks a bit sus. The horse there doesn't look brilliant and the tags inside, man, it, they didn't look right. So I know it's only a pound, but it's going back. Check this out. Look at this vintage World Cup 1998 bag. The thing is, it's what they keep all their hats and stuff in. I don't know if they'll sell me the bag. That's all, I don't want anything inside. I just want the bag. Let's have a look. And yes, we got it. I found another old bag in the shop. We just took everything out of this bag, put it in that old bag. We picked it up. And it's coming really handy because I've been able to put everything I bought in there in there as well. Result. That is awesome. Right, first charity shop down. We've already found some bits. Do you, you find anything in there? Empty handed. Empty handed, mate. Now, the last time we met at the first charity shop, you found them gold earrings. Well, it's just... No luck today, man. Nah. It's slipping. It's slipping. Well, well, last time that we went, we came up here, I found a couple of old coats and some old board games. So, you definitely won that round. You were like a kid in a sweet shop, is it? Well, I, I was. I was. I was rummaging through there. All right. Anyway, on to the next ones. Yep. Let's go. I had a good rummage through this box here. I come across this figure. I think it's a Power Rangers one, but I'll do a bit more research into that when we get home. But then also, I found this Blaze truck die cast these bundle up really well so we'll be getting that as well in this box here a couple of bob the builder vehicles and there's the cement mixer in there thing is got a load of them already what have you found there con a mirror box set it's a, sh it's a shame it's got a crack in the disc crack on the disc but You've looked that up on CEX and that would have been worth trading in, wouldn't it? Yeah, but £9 voucher, something like that. £9 voucher. It's a shame. Same. And... Box that's only 50p. Ah. Just having a look through the books. And at the bottom, there's a couple of jigsaws tucked away. Murder, she wrote. Paul Lamond jigsaws. Hang on, let's get it out. And there it is. Murder, she wrote. Mystery jigsaw puzzle game. Get that one. And then I found this frustration game here, but I've opened it up and there's a few pieces missing. There should be four of each colour. It's only three greens, only three yellows. Incomplete. We'll put it back. Just having a little glance over the toys and I found these before. This is a little Power Ranger thing you put on your wrist. It makes noise, flashes. I'll have to test it when we get home, but those do pretty well. Another example where you need to check your eBay sell through rate really carefully. We've got a golden fingerling here. People are listing these up for 20 to 30 quid. But if you look at solds, one's gone for a fiver and that is it. That is it. You having them Disney ones then, Con? Yeah, I might as well pick them all up. Yeah, so those were the McDonald's 1999 Disney toys. Decent. Have a look at this bundle of toys down here. We're going to have a right good rummage through because I'm already seeing some Papo horses. Papo knights. Two two driver hot rod. Daddy, I'm going to have a good search. Look at him. Look what I found. Ah. So this is what we found in there. Lots of Papo knights. There's a couple of Schleck little knights in there as well. There were loads of these figures here. These are called Chap May. And I've looked on Souls. They don't bundle up very well. So they'll be straight in the box. But the find. Look at that. Look. 
Little Decepticon shark. Little Decepticon shark. Don't expect to see this up in up in Penagraig. And we've got an Oxford United top. Ah, it's got a number on. That's a shame. It's printed. Now we'll leave her. And being more mindful now is to check the condition of shoes before I buy them. The last couple of pairs of shoes I can't sell them because they're too rough. Now these Astros look pretty good on the bottom, but look at the tongue. It's all really, really sticky as well. So, now nah, I'm going to leave those. i tell you what, I nearly walked straight past this as well. Yeah. Got an old school Yamaha PSS190 keyboard. No charger with it. We'll get that. Right, that's it. Porth. No, what were we? Penagraig picked. We've, I feel like we're getting warmed up, aren't we? Well, I'm definitely getting warmed up. It's cook boiling in here. <laughs> it's cooking. Right, let's start the car. Let's get these windows open. Porth next. Let's do it. Get that window open. It's boiling in there. Stop the car. Yeah. What is it? With France 98 today, look. Trivial Pursuit France 98 there. Don't have any signal in the shop, but I will check solds when we get out. And then my son dragged these two tractors out. Look at these. Union Jack JCB and just a normal yellow JCB. They're Golden Bear toys. Again, I will check solds and see if they're worth it. So I'm going to look through the DVDs and... Daddy, he's a Grand Theft Auto 4. Disc. Got the map. Get that one. Check this out too. Where's Craven's new nightmare? That's cool. I'm rummaging through the rest of the DVDs. We found all five of the Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger. Can't check souls, but that's got to be worth it. Bits and Bob's box. Tucked in there, look. Wee remote. And then check. Is that another one too? Another Wii remote. Both official. We'll have another little route through here, I think. So the last time we met up was about two months ago, and I saw the. Check that out, that Airfix Classic Ships. Tenor, still for sale, two months on. In the children's section here, check these out. The UK size 4, Nike Air Max, TN Air, I mean they're not in the best condition, you can see this coming away at the front slightly there, but they're cool aren't they, they're retro, how much are they? 7 quid, I'm going to take a punt on them for 7 quid. And then not to resell, this is for me to keep. I do need a new whale shirt, so size large, seven quid. It would still be a little bit in it, not much. But for somebody who wants to buy something from themselves, that is a good price. Check out these Kappa shorts here. They are cool, aren't they? Five quid, size medium. I mean, I, I, I don't think I could pull them off, that's a problem. So that's a few little bits picked up in Porth. Unfortunately, one of the main charity shops we went to last time was closed, so that was a shame. But we still managed to pick up a few bits. Yeah, I picked up a nice shirt. It was a Queen and... You had that Queen shirt, didn't you? 2008 yeah, Queen shirt. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That was like three pounds something. Bargain, so. bargain. So I think what we'll do is we'll head on to the next place. Tonopandi? Yeah, Tonopandi. Let's do it. Hey, Con. Whenever we did the video last time, Ricky messaged me and said that we look like father and son. My father and son. How old are you now? 28. 28. You're 28. You're 28. I'm 36. There's only eight years between us. Eight. I want to get on your skin regime. Found a nice little Duplo set here. It's got the plane in. It's a little air traffic control tower. It does only have one of the men in there. But I do have a load of Duplo back home that I could do with bundling. And this would be the perfect way to bundle that. Means I've got an easy box to post it all in too. Just having a look at the shoes up here, and I found this pair of Rikers. I've sold Rikers before, these are six quid. There is a bit of wear on the bottom of them, and I can't actually find solds for those, so I'll leave them. But got a pair of Havianas here, 
And I've literally just sold a pair of Prio Davianas for about eight or nine quid. These are three quid. Reasonable condition, but uh, nah, I'm not gonna get them. It's only a five of it. <coughs> nice looking Kath Kidson bag there, there. 30 quid though. No, I don't know enough about them to warrant paying that. This is something straight out of the Global Thrifters book. Look at that, it's massive. Really heavy as well. It's only four quid. The thing is, I would struggle to store it, keep it safe, know how to post it. But there is one over here, which is partly in a box. Four quid, dual Tiffany light. I mean, no, I'm, I'm tempted to get it. There's probably about 20 quid's worth there, but the postage, Nah, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. And look at this, just coming out of the shop, I've just seen him. I'll zoom in for you. Walkie talkies, combat communicators. Vintage, they want 20 quid. I mean, again, you're looking at the sell for rate, you don't have many, and when they do sell, it is for about 20 quid. Tempted to pick them up for myself, but nah, I can't, I'll leave them. I'm still in two minds about those lampshades. There's definitely a nice amount of money in them, but I know what I'm like. I'll buy them, I'll put them in the garage, and I'll just keep putting them off because they are more difficult than the usual things that I, that I tend to sell. You've got to be careful with the packing, got to store them nicely. I mean... So that's all the charity shops done then, Connor's it? That's all the charity shops done? Yeah, that's in Holders. Yeah. Well, I, th I think that we've had a pretty good morning. We both found a nice bit of stuff, haven't we? Full. Your bag is full. Look, that—that that is, that is full. The lady in the last shop was loving you, wasn't she? She said matching top, matching bag. She went wrong, was she? The ladies can't get enough of you. So this is what we like to see after a trip to the charity. Nice bootload full of stuff. Check all that out. How did you get on today, Con? Not bad. Got a few bits. I got to sort out when I get back in. Let's have a look in the bag. Get that bag open. Come on. Let's have a look. Mate, yeah, it is full. I got two, control. two now for a good friend. I got a controller. That shirt I gotta do research on. Let's have a look at that. That is a sweet shirt. What was it 2008 Queen? Look at that, and Paul Rogers. That was that, that was pretty cheap as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was 4.49. Nice. And I got that for you there, and all of them little figures. You've done really well, mate. So small bits, but. Should do well. Yeah. So on the way back home, Connor was like, you have to stop in at the shed, Llantrisen. And I'm glad I did because I found a Dyson Hoover. Now actually, this is because our Hoover back home was packed up. I only paid a fiver for that. So they, they said it works, they pat tested it. I mean, for a fiver, if it doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? Right, so we're back home. That was really good fun. It's always good catching up with Connor. We always have a good laugh and we managed to find some decent stuff. And when I got back home, I had a nice little surprise because I've got some graded cards arrived. Let me show you one. So my latest MGC submission arrived and it's perfect timing with a woman's Euro star in today. And this is the first sticker here. I've got a Lucy Bronze rookie sticker. All of these are listed up on eBay now. MGC9, got that up for 30 pounds plus postage. Next up, we've got Millie Bright, England center half again, a number nine. That one's up for 20 pounds plus postage. This one we've got Kira Walsh, England centre midfielder, I think England's best player. MGC8, that one's up for £15 plus postage. This one I was a bit disappointed in really. We've got Ellen White's rookie card. Now as a sticker, that sells for six to seven pounds just on its own. A seven in an MGC, it's not gonna add much value. I'm gonna try and aim for 15 quid plus postage for that. And the final one we've got is Nadia Nadim, um, MGC 10, Gold Lion. So a great result and she is gonna be uh, really quite popular, I think. She's got a great backstory. She's an Afghan refugee, plays over in America, but is training to be a doctor as well. Talking about having too much talent. I've just seen on Instagram that we are we are have our first ever eBay reseller trading card and it is graded at MGC 10 as well. The reseller does one of one auto card. You'll see a picture up here there. Graded at MGC 10. Fantastic and great news for the eBay reseller card market as well. Now I have got in touch with Daz because I was a bit dubious with the 10 grade. You could, it looks a little bit off center, but Daz has assured me that that is exactly how the card should look. So that's bang on. And there's also a bit of smudging down by the biro. And again, 
Daz has assured me this is how he signs every single one of his cards to make sure that they cannot be copied. His signature has always got that smudge so no one can imitate it. So how about that? MGC10 of reseller Daz is one of one. I, I mean, I, I can't even put a value to it. I wouldn't even know where to start. Let me know in the comments how much you think that card would be worth. Right, now let's get on with some eBay sales. Monday and Tuesday on eBay has been a busy one. I've sold 10 things in total. Let's get on it. First sale, I sold this creepy sister. I was going to say Halloween outfit, but this is classic stag do, isn't it? Someone is getting stitched up royal in that. But I always pick up these adult size fancy dress costumes, particularly if they're bagged, they're in good condition, and they've got everything in it because brand new, that would have cost 23 quid. I paid a pound in the charity shop. Someone made me an offer today, £10 plus postage, and I just accepted it. Maybe I could have waited three months or so till, uh, till Halloween time, but I'm not going to wait three months just to get maybe an extra fiver. The offer was there. I took it. Next up, and I picked this up the last time I went round with Connor. This is a Rohan ladies size large jacket, and I had this listed up for £15 plus postage. Someone offered me a tenner, and usually I, just, I wouldn't entertain that. I would have counted, but in storage, the little tab has come off the zip there. So I noticed it, sent the guy a message who made me the offer and said, look, I'll accept your £10, but this is the actual condition. Because honestly, I couldn't be bothered to go into the list and take new photos, describe it again. Tenor was on the table and I only paid a pound for it. He accepted it. Nice bit of profit for me. This one I completely forgot I had. I've had it for absolutely ages. It's a little baby pink Yankees Velcro at the back cap. Sold for £8.50 plus postage. This is random, right? Look, this is an old school Bluetooth headset for a Nokia phone. Brand new, never been opened. Paid a couple of quid, but who is buying that? Like, does that actually still work on what it's meant for? It, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's a collector out there for this type of stuff. Who knows? But someone has given me £15 plus postage for that. Mad. Jigsaw. That's a bit of a mind trip, isn't it? Look at that. This is called Relativity by MC Escher. I paid a pound, maybe two pounds in the charity shop for this one. Accepted an offer today, £12.50 plus postage. The sale of Monday and Tuesday, check these, straight out of the year 2000, we've got some Adidas Precision AstroTurf boots. And these are UK size 12. They are monsters. Barely worn, great condition. Paid seven pounds for these at the boot sale, but I don't mind paying up for decent quality boots because they have gone for 40 pounds plus postage. On to some toys now. I sold this Masters of the Universe Orca figure. Terrible condition. Loads of the paintwork's coming off there and it should come with a little plastic pulley. Obviously don't have that. Even so, he's gone for 15 pounds all in. Transformers Rescue Bot here. I love selling these. We've got this Formula One car here. Real simple transformation there. Paid 50 pence for this. Sold in for £9 plus postage. And with all of the Rescue Bots I find, I research every single one. Because some of, the, some of them are worth selling individually. If they're not, I just bundle them together. These, This next sale, right? These items really intrigue me. These are called like Hero Clicks. And I've seen them out and about, but never really bothered with them. I guess they're part of a board game. They've got a base that spins around and there's lots of different numbers. But I've got seven different Batman type figures. I've got Batman, Robin, that's the Mad Hatter there. They haven't done really well. They haven't done very well at all, really. I bought this little bundle for three quid. I've sold them for four pounds plus postage. Made my money back. But these ones have done a lot better, these. And I always pick these up whenever I see them. We've got some Disney cars, die cast cars. And condition with these is everything because the people you're targeting are the collectors. The people who need these cars just to complete their collection. And I bundled eight together. Um, I paid three quid for them at the boot sale for eight. I've sold them for two pounds each, 16 pounds plus postage. Nice little markup, taken just under a month to sell. So all in all, 10 sales Monday and Tuesday. It's been a good start to the week. So as always, it's great to go and meet up with Connor and do some charity shopping. If you haven't checked out Connor's channel, check it out. Connor, the Welsh poker picker. Jump over there now because you did a load of filming today. Yep. So you can see how we both got on from Connor's eyes. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll catch up with you in the next one.